Hello YouTube, got a, uh, a big unboxing video today and it's um, an LGB uh, Frank S Loco and you can see by the size of the box that it's a pretty big engine in fact I was struggling to find a space to uh, to do the unboxing uh, but here we are, I was going to do it in the garden but it's a bit, a bit noisy at the moment and it's also a bit windy so um, I thought I'll get it out in the house, have a look at it and then uh, we'll do a running session in the garden uh, when the weather settles a little bit so um, let's get it open I just sort of have to tilt it a little bit to get it out here we go um, this is probably the biggest G-scale loco now, well working loco anyway apart from me back with American engine the biggest LGB logo that I have. Um, so that's how it comes. Polystyrene. Um, the instruction manual. So hopefully we've got some of it in English. There we go. Well, that's like a parts list. Um, hopefully about how to use the smoke fluid as well. So I'll, I'll have a look at that. Lots of smoke fluid to uh, use of it. Uh, original order form from America. Okay, let's take off, have a look. And um, it is it is pre-owned from Hattons. It is an older model, but um, it says like new. So uh, we'll see now when we take it out. Look at that. I always wanted one of these engines when um, we used to have garden railway in my dad's house. I always like the, the uh, like, like a dark blue purple coloured one and there's also a green one that I think. Um, but like I said this came up and it looked like a good price so I couldn't resist. Um, but yeah it looks, it looks in very good condition. I don't see anything wrong with it. I tried looking for videos on this on eBay. Um, YouTube and there's quite a few running videos of it but not an actual um, video about the engine I couldn't find uh, so it's got some nice details there and that door opens and shuts actually yeah it does and it locks as well that's good let's see if we can open it again so that opens all the way out we've got a driver in there we've also got our switch inside so um I'll double check, but on the uh, the basic 040 engines, um, you got a sound for a setting for sound, a setting for non-sound, and one where the loco is static. So I presume that's the same. But I'll check the instructions. Well, it's got some nice detail on there. It's got a cab light as well. I've noticed, which I didn't know about. It's an 060 configuration, and looking at the. Uh, the wheels and the contacts they've either been kept really well cleaned by the previous owner or it hasn't been ran much or certainly not outdoors much anyway I mean that looks really good that underneath but I haven't ran this loco yet so only time will tell it has uh, three headlights and it's got the number on the front 994652 let's come around to this side yeah, I mean, it's a stunning engine this so uh, we'll just try not to break anything so let's put that there now this is the tender again this is motorized so you, you can buy these separately to go with any European engine so you got double the power of this engine really um, got a basic coal load on the front is really weighty as well and I think there's space in here to fit a sound unit, if I remember rightly. I mean, you can buy a sound unit. I don't know if these open or not. It looks like they do. Oh, no. They don't open, they just unclip. But never mind. Put that the right way around. Some nice detailing here. Again, we've got three rear working lights. Hook coupler. And uh, got some nice little details there. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that on the, uh, the garden layout. So I put that, um, put the loco together. I'll just adjust the camera so hopefully we can see it a bit better. 
Right, I've uh, I've tried to get it like a reasonable close up. I'll try and get as much as loco in as I can, so you can see. Um, it's just a basic hook that connects up to the uh, coupler here for the tender, and you have this uh, guard that comes down, so obviously the crew don't fall through the gap. And we also have this um, plug here in the wire, which I presume connects the local up to the tender for the lighting. And also, I think I think uh, if you install the sound unit in the tender, that would connect that to that also. But that you know, that's purely a guess. But I think that's what it's for. We had it um, sun looking loco. It looked big on my little layout anyway, but. Um, I've also dug out my old um, LGB catalog. Again, it's not very hard to get it in picture because this is big trains. You got a big catalog as well. Um, I'll try and do it a picture of it or a video of it further back. But basically, um, let's try and look up some info on this particular loco. This is actually in this catalog. Um, so this is the 2003 and 4 catalogue, which I think was before Markland took over. And uh, I'll just take the camera off for now. And there we have it. There's our logo. And uh, I've checked the numbers and they're all the same. That gives you all the details of the engine. So if anyone wants to pause this, they can see some info about the engine. Which um, is quite interesting. I mean, a lot of people think of LGV trains as just um, made up or um, you know, loosely based on a real loco. But I think this one is an actual real loco. So as you'll be able to see from the description there, um, there was for, um, for holiday makers and uh, they were transferred after the war. There's a picture of it in the catalogue there of a freight train. So I was, uh, I was hoping to see what coaches I could run on this, but I think... The livery I've got is primarily a freight engine, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so you can see another popular loco there. If um, you want me to do a video looking through this catalogue, because I don't think there was many more catalogues after this before Markham took over. Um, you just have a little close-up now of the loco. So you can see the, uh, from the rear, the tender. And um, inside the cab, the driver. Yeah, I think these were the uh, stone engines when they built, and when they were made in Germany as well. Apparently, they're not as good quality now that they've uh, moved to factories. But um, anyone who buys a lot of LGB stuff, as obviously an expert, then uh, drop a line in the comments. Let me know what the new stuff's like. I've obviously just looked at older stuff that um, I used to see at garden railway shows and exhibitions, and that's the stuff I like. So. That's all I've been sticking with for now. I'll just uh, I'll turn the loco round and uh, do a little uh, look on that. Go um, back in a sec. This is a view from the other side of the loco, so we can see the driver more on this side. And um, you see he's only looking forward, so it's not much good in reverse, but it doesn't really matter. You can see a few controls on here to cold load. So yeah, I'm going to get this on the uh, garden layout now and give it a run. Fingers crossed it'll work fine because uh, I don't really want to be sending this one back. Um, just going back to the catalogue, just to give you an idea of the size. That's it up to the loco. I'd say the loco was almost two foot long, if not um, it is two foot. So that's the catalogue to the loco. And um, another example, you bear with me a sec. I've got another size comparison. So we just um, move this catalogue out of the way. So basically, we've got a double O gauge tank engine. So you can see the size difference there. And we've also got an N gauge loco. So, uh, big difference. So, um, I hope you like this uh, unboxing. And um, if you want to see any more, then uh, let me know. So, um, well, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoy the running session. Right, I'm going to run a 
the forwards now, see what she's like. That's not bad. Try and reverse. So far, so good. I'm going to give it a run around the layout now. I think the fish like the new train, although I think uh, more likely they're uh, waiting for their tea. Yeah, it certainly runs really smoothly, and uh, I'll be looking out for a sound unit for it.